tonight, Bob Hope's Love Affair with Lucy. Starring George Burns, Kirk Cameron, Danny Thomas, and Betty White. for a breakfast cereal with oat bran, you should know that Kellogg's Common Sense Oat Bran has over 60% more oat bran per serving than Cheerios. That's why Kellogg's Common Sense Oat Bran makes more sense. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Hope. I'm not doing a monologue tonight because tonight is a salute. Well, sort of a tribute, really, from all of us, you and me, all of us, to a friend. A good friend who's a very great entertainer whom we all happen to have had the good fortune to live with. You're going to see some of the various times Lucy and I teamed up together. You know, when someone of Lucy's stature leaves us, we say we've lost a good friend. Not this time. With all our great shows, we haven't lost Lucy at all. She's still with us. From here on, she's our show. Lucy handled the medium and television like she handled everything else, with grace and style, and a richness of color that didn't need any help from the peacock. I hope you enjoy what we've selected. Your wife will love this, Mr. Hope. Princess Anne has one just like it. No, thanks. I do enough bowing now. <laughs> No, I want something very special to make up for all those Christmases I spent away from home. I think this is just what you're looking for, Mr. Hope. Boy, that's gorgeous. How much is that? $15,000. Yeah, she wasn't that lonesome. <laughs> hey, that looks very nice. Oh, yes, it's lovely, and it's only $1,500. Really? Well, I'll take that. And I'd like to send a card with it. From a distant admirer who till now loved you passionately from afar. <laughs> Bob. There. Who needs writers? <laughs> it's beautiful. Mrs. Hope will be thrilled. Yeah, well, if I can only find some way to keep her from finding it before Christmas, you know. When it comes to presents, she's a bird dog. Well, couldn't you uh, ask a friend or a neighbor to hold it till Christmas? Hey, that's a great idea. Lucille Ball lives just down the street. Send it there. I'll call and tell her about it. Do you think I might get an autograph? Oh, sure. From Miss Ball? <laughs> uh, that's not your pen. That's okay. It's not her autograph. <laughs> I just won the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> I heard that Gary went shopping yesterday, and I'm sure he got my Christmas present, and I'm trying to find out where he stashed it. Oh, I know it's around here someplace. Oh, dear. This just arrived from Cartier's. Cartier's? Oh, Gary must have struck oil on the 18th hole. <laughs> Do not open until Christmas. Oh. I can't open this. That would be unforgivable and childish and rotten. 
Here, you open it. Yeah. No, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, can you imagine? Oh. Oh. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, Lucy, that's gorgeous. From a distant admirer who till now loves you passionately from afar. Bob. Bob? Bob who? I had no idea. Robert Redford? <laughs> Robert Redford, your distant admirer? Certainly, I've never gotten near him. Oh, I don't know, Lucy, there must be another Bob. Bob Goulet. Oh. Bob Young. Bob Wagner. Answer that, will you? Yeah. Hello? Who? Uh, Bob Hope. Uh, just a minute, please. Hello? Oh, hi, Lucy. Did you get a package today from Cartier? Oh, boy, did I. Well, I said it, and I've got to explain. Bob, darling, uh, we shouldn't be talking about us on the phone. If I were you, I'd get over here right away. Hurry. <laughs> Bob Hope. Of course, I should have realized it years ago, working together in all those pictures, the passionate love scenes. <sighs> Lucy, I'm afraid somebody's getting carried away. How can I stop him? Once in his life, every man is entitled to fall madly in love with a gorgeous redhead. <laughs> I give up. I'll see you later, Lucy. Okay, darling. You coax the blues right out of the home, Lucy. You charm the husk right off of the corn, Lucy. Come in. Hi. Hey, what is it? What happened? What's wrong? Ah, uh, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Boy, they warned me about this high karate. What are you looking for, Bob? The mistletoe. Oh, don't joke at a time like this. It's so expensive, Bob. You shouldn't have done it. Oh, well, nothing's too good for the woman I love. You shouldn't have opened it. Well, I know, but I'm glad I did. It showed me how you really felt. Well, it's never been a secret. I thought you knew. But how can I be sure? All these years, you've been hiding your true feelings behind a joke. Yeah, that's the trouble, see? Nobody takes a comedian seriously. I never thought of you as a comedian, darling. <laughs> I know that beneath that flip exterior is a warm, sensitive human being crying out for love and affection. I think you put too much nutmeg in the punch. <laughs> Stop pretending. This bracelet tells me everything. Well, I must have come in in the middle of the picture. Lucy, about the bracelet. The bracelet, I... yes, the bracelet. It means everything to me. Bob, I had nothing left. My chicks had flown the nest. My rooster had left for the golf course. <laughs> I was useless, unloved, unwanted. And then, and then, Bob, your bracelet arrived. And I'm alive. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Bob, darling. Oh, what a fool I've been not to have realized it all these years. Bob, I must have been madly in love with you two. Now, wait, Lucy. We've waited long enough. Lucy, it's not that simple. There are things to consider. Oh, forget the difference in our ages. <laughs> Let me show you something. Remember Sorrowful Jones, the first picture we ever made together? I sure do. I snipped this lock of your hair when you weren't looking, and I wouldn't part with it for a million dollars. Oh, too bad. I'd like to buy it back. <laughs> and, Bob, here is the ashtray from the hotel room we were in in The Facts of Life. You've been saving this stuff all these years? Yes, these are all tokens of my love. And now, to find out that you worship me, what can I say? I'm delirious. You sure are. <laughs> Look, 
Lucy, I've been married to Dolores for 39 years. Yes, I know, and 39 years of ecstasy is enough. Now, Bob, it's my turn. What if it's too late to subdivide? <laughs> well, what's Dolores gonna do when she gets the news tomorrow from the Toluca Lake Bugle? Is that a newspaper? No, it's her mother. <laughs> oh, Bob, you're right. Dolores is my best friend. I'd rather she hear it from me. After all, she is the party of the first part. Yeah, but wait a minute. Wait, honey. Uh, she's not home. She's in Saudi Arabia. What's she doing in Saudi Arabia? She's down a quart of oil. <laughs> okay, Bob. Why don't you want me to call? The bugle may blow back in the phone. <laughs> So, well, what, what do you mean? I made reservations for us on the midnight plane to Rio. Tonight? Yeah, what's the matter? I can't go tonight. Why not? This is the night I put out the garbage. Come on, we'll miss the plane. Yeah, well, what about the garbage? We'll take it with us. Well, what about Gary? Gary who? Your husband, that's Gary who. What would he do if he found out we were together? He'd kill you. Does Utter McKinley give out credit cards? That's Gary. Get in the closet. What? Get in the closet. In the you closet. Gotta hide. Yeah, but I don't do these bits. Oh, yes, you well, do. Well, well, <laughs> you look wonderful, darling. Thank you, darling. Give me that. Why? Well, I gotta fix it. What's wrong with it? It's torn. <laughs> Oh, Dolores will love this. What else have you got in the garage sale? Bob, what were you doing in there? Bob, tell him. He may as well know the truth. Well, the, the truth is, Lucy, the, the bracelet isn't for you. Oh, no. No, I bought it for Dolores, and I wanted you to hide it for me. Oh. Lucy thought I had a crush on her. Poor yeah. child. It happens to so many of them. Yeah. You do understand, don't yeah. you, Lucy? Yes, the bracelet isn't for me. Gary, you're not sore at me, are you? So don't be silly, Bob. We're grateful to you. Really? Sure, you just gave us the plot for our next Monday night show. <laughs> Everybody knows the pain reliever hospitals use most is Tylenol. But Tylenol is also recommended most for everyday pain by internists, family practitioners, general surgeons, and on and on. Tylenol, recommended the most by the people who know the most. <laughs> Mommy, I'm hot. Nights like these are when you rely on children's Tylenol to bring her fever down fast. And mornings like these are why children's Tylenol is the one most pediatricians give their own children. Mommy, we bit feel better now. Gonna be there a day early. Good morning, it's me. Yeah, how's Mama doing? She okay? Yes. Yeah. It's already happening. People calling long distance with one free month of U.S. Sprint. The market is open on coast to coast of business. It's midnight here. We're just shutting down. Call Sprint now. Get one free month plus the best savings versus AT and T. This is one offer that seems to be catching on. This is the valley, Rebecca. Here we can start our new life. And with hard work, the land will give us all we need. Because this, this is home. In the movies, happy endings are easy. But in the real world, they take solid planning. So for investment advice, peace of mind, even buying or selling a home, come to the companies of the Prudential and build your future on the rock. To be honest with you, I like to be able to pronounce everything I read in the labels. I like to think of myself as having a healthy, balanced diet. That means 
less salt, but less fat, all that sort of thing. Introducing Healthy Choice Frozen Dinners. Truly delicious meals, low in fat, sodium, and cholesterol, so they can help you keep your heart healthy. I would say it certainly, it certainly passes my, my strictest tests. Listen to your heart. Make a healthy choice. Here's a very good friend of Lucy's, Danny Thomas. Thank you. It's a delight and an honor to be here and pay tribute to wonderful Lucille Ball. We did so many shows together. As a matter of fact, she was my landlady on Make Room for Daddy for 11 straight years. We did them all at Desilu Studios, and we worked together. When I worked on her show, she did most of the directing. And when she worked on my show, she did most of the directing. <laughs> She, was, she always knew where the cameras were. In the old days, we had motion picture cameras, three of them. But she knew where they were at all times. And, and, and one time, I played a doctor, and I kind of looked into her eye, and she kept saying to me, your nose is in my shot. Your nose is I said, no, it isn't. Lucy says, three, never mind. And she wrapped her leg around me and got me completely out of the I'm looking in her eye like that. I mean, it was really, it was just wild. She was a great clown, this lady, but also had a brain, you know. And on her show, I had a line, and I, I got up from the chair and spoke the line as I was getting up, and she said, don't do that. Uh, sit down, say the line, then get up. I said, I think it's more effective. Never mind, we just sit down. OK, sweetheart. And uh, we loved each other. It was great friendship. So I did it twice. I got up as I was speaking. So the third time, she stepped on my foot and held it there so I couldn't get up. I mean, it was... <laughs> and of course, we were together so very much. God love her. And I'll never forget her last birthday party. She had this beautiful, huge, gorgeous cake. And I took her in the corner. Lucy and I, as I said, were very close. And I said, Lucy, just between us, how old are you really? I won't tell. She said, can you keep a secret? I said, of course. She said, so can I. <laughs> I said, but I'll, I'll give you a hint. And she said, the candles cost more than the cake. <laughs> Great times with that lady. They owe her a lot, especially a lasting friendship. And like you, I love Lucy. Hi, I'm Lake Boy. This is a sketch where Lucy plays Miss District Attorney, and I play the gangster, Bugsy Hope. Chief, I want you to get an all-points bulletin. Somebody jacked up my car and stole the wheels. Where are you parked? Who was parked? I was doing 65 at the time. Uh, DA, something's got to be done. Crimes increased 75% since you've been in office. What have you done for the people? Well, I took them on a television tour of Alcatraz. <laughs> we all know who's in back of this crime wave, the most vicious killer in the country, Bugsy Hope. The public wants action, DA. Now, you better bring in Bugsy. Or else. All right, boys, that's all for now. The DA will well, you Thank you very, very, very much, gentlemen. That's all for now. Well, if they want action, they're going to get it. Give me Bugsy Hope. Hello, Bugsy. <laughs> Ryan's busy. There must be something we can get on him. I got a good idea. You have? Wait a minute, DA. Isn't that Bugsy's file? Yeah. It's Bugsy's file, all right. I don't know whether to frame him or spray him. Look at this one. What's this one? That's Bugsy outside the garage on Valentine's Day. He was selling cemetery plots. <laughs> Do you have any money we can mark? Well, just a thousand dollars Bugsy gave me on my last birthday. Let me have it. Okay, I've got it right here. Hmm. <laughs> That's the father of our country. No wonder we got so many delinquents. <laughs> Look, I'm going over to Bugsy's apartment right now and plant this money on him while I'm making mad love to him. Mm -hmm. And then you rush right over and arrest him. Right. Look, you can run that crap game just as long as I get half the take. You held out last week, and I had to have the boys work you over. Yeah, you double-cross me again, you'll wind up skin-diving in a vat of acid. You got that? OK. Good night, Mother. <laughs> Oh, 
boss. We knocked over a warehouse on 34th Street. Yeah, what did you get? 300 cases of scotch, 12 mink coats, and look at all the money and jewels. <laughs> What's the matter? You fool, that was our warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Nikita Fidel. <laughs> what are you doing here? The DA's on her way over here. You want us to shoot her, boss? Bugsy does not shoot women. What do you do with women? <laughs> Next time you knock over a Playboy club, steal him a bunny. That must be the D.A. Yeah, okay, take notes. We'll frame this chick. Look, I'll romance her on the sofa. At the psychological moment, you snap the picture. We send it to the papers and that's the end for Carrot Top. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> well, come in, my dear. Hello, D.A. Hello, Bugsy. Mind if I call you D? Not at all, Bugs. <laughs> so, you're the new district attorney, huh? Yeah. How'd you know? You got copper written all over you. <laughs> Allow me to take your rap, my dear. I'm not carrying a gun, if that's what's worrying you. <laughs> Worried me in the beginning. Toward the end, I didn't care. <laughs> I don't usually go for flat feet, but the rest of you kind of makes up for it. Well, I don't usually go for hoods, but you could use one. <laughs> How about a little drink, baby? You're just trying to ply me with liquor so I'll lose all self-control. Yeah. <laughs> well, give me about that much. Only that much? Yeah, a little dab will do me. I think she's about right for the frame-up. Now, if I can just find a way to get her on the couch. So far, he hasn't smelled a rat. And with his nose, that's surprising. <laughs> now, if I can just figure out some sly, subtle way to get him on the couch. sit on the couch and chat. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, except fear itself, or fear itself. They're not making cowards like they used to. What was that? What was what? I just saw a flash of light. That was me. I just blew a fuse. Come here. Huh? Okay, but what's the hurry? I'm on my lunch hour. <laughs> Stand by for dessert. <laughs> oh, no, no, I can't take money for this sort of thing.
Take it, take it. <laughs> Thank you. What's that? You fool, you got me from my bad side. What's this for? Well, I got a confession to make. I was gonna frame you with that picture, but I can't do it now because I love you. Well, I have a confession to make, too. I was gonna frame you with that counterfeit money, but I can't do it because I love you. If the gang finds out I've fallen for you, we'll wind up in cement moo-moos. Come on, we gotta lamb out of here. Here, we'll get this loot, and we'll spring this trap. How those ones get in there? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Mexico City, Rio, Rome, London, Paris. Forest Lawn. Yeah. <laughs> That's our dough. It's mine. I earned you every cent of it, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. You hear? Nobody's gonna. That's what I say. It's your money. <laughs> 23, 42, huh? Yeah. Lateral. Yeah. <laughs> All right, reach. It's a ray. What? Ray. A ray. Hold it. Wait, come here. Come here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey. Are you guys using real bullets? No. no. Are you guys using real bullets? No. no. Come on, Bob, let's get out of here. Some of those shots are coming from the audience. <laughs> It's alive. It's alive. Ugly, creepy mildew. Spray on Tylex Instant Mildew Stain Remover and Mildew Stain Spanish with no scrubbing. Try Tylex. Get your bath laboratory clean. The delicious crunch of Cracklin' Oat Bran has gotten you in trouble again. How do you defend yourself? Did you eat all the Cracklin' Oat Bran? I don't have to answer that. Did you eat all the Cracklin' Oat Bran? Well, you're the one holding the box. Did you eat all the Cracklin' Oat Bran? What Cracklin' Oat Bran? With the irresistibly sweet taste of Kellogg's Cracklin' Oat Bran, an open box is an empty box. Delta Airlines flight attendant Irene Lockwoody loves to fly. Are you still here? My son was supposed to meet me. Well, I'll wait with you. That kid is always late. What she loves most are the people she meets. He must have got caught in the rain. He was even born late. Joey! Ma. Irene is what Delta's all about. Irene. Yes? Are you married? Yep. Two kids. Late again, Joey. We love to fly and it shows. Stay tuned for Kirk Cameron, George Burns, Betty White, and Bob Hope's love affair with Lucy. It's a Sunday special. Look who's in charge at NBC. <laughs> Your favorite stars are in trouble when Alf takes over the network. Then what could be hotter than the season premiere of Sister Kate? I know some plays hot up, but I don't think you would like it now. Then the premiere of My Two Dads, Michael's Big News. I read a very lovely woman who will get married. It's all Sunday. NBC News at this hour. I'm Maria Shriver, New York. President Bush says he'll hold a summit meeting with Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev next spring or early summer, probably in Washington. Progress towards the meeting was made in two days of talks between Secretary of State Baker and Soviet Foreign Minister Shevardnadze in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. The two also signed a memorandum of understanding, allowing for each to inspect the other's chemical weapons. More news later on this NBC station. Why can't life be more predictable? Why can't we be immune to the nasty little surprises fate sends our way? Why can't everything be like AT&T long distance? And whenever you travel, remember that AT&T is the fastest, most reliable long distance service in the world. Choose anyone but AT&T. AT&T. And who knows what you'll get. Lots of houses are built from memory. It isn't just for Sundays anymore Cooks, it isn't like those other hams you used to have before Cooks ham steaks have one-third less salt and they're 94% fat-free. Now you can eat ham any day. It isn't just for Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays It isn't just for Sundays anymore Cooks 
A New York cop saved by his bulletproof vest at 11. Here is a young star who became very friendly with Lucy on two of our birthday shows. Kirk Cameron. Um, I can't tell you what a privilege and what an honor it is to uh, be able to be here tonight with uh, Bob Hope and some of his close friends and be able to share with you a little bit about a great lady, Lucille Ball, and um, how much she meant to me. Uh, the first time that I met Lucille Ball was at a Bob Hope show, and it was at Pope Air Force Base in North Carolina. And uh, to be truthful, the meeting actually turned out to be a little embarrassing for me. In fact, it almost turned out to be the last time that I met Lucille Ball. Um, you see, I'd, I'd gone to her dressing room to say hello, but she was in makeup, so I had to get ready to go on stage too, so I went back to my dressing room to get a microphone put on and things like that. So I said, okay, I'll do that, and then I'll come back, and Lucille Ball should be out of makeup by then. So I did. And I was in my dressing room, and they were running wires up and down my sweaters and hooking up the microphone, and someone popped their head in and said, Lucille Ball is waiting at the door. See, she felt bad that she had to keep me waiting, so she came over to my dressing room to say hello. Um, so using my brain, I said, well, just have her wait outside. And you can tell I had a lot of showbiz savvy back then. Um, so I was half hooked up and half not hooked up, and I thought it would only be a few more seconds, but it just seemed to go on forever and ever. The wires didn't fit or the batteries were running down or something like that. I didn't know what to do. Now, remember, this was a couple of years ago, so uh, I was just a kid then. Um, now, all this time, I'm keeping Lucille Ball waiting outside my dressing room. And then my mom found out. And she came running in, and she said, you cannot keep Lucille Ball waiting outside, young man. Now, when she called me young man, I knew that I was in trouble. Um, but I said, Mom, you know, I'm, I'm not hooked up yet. I can't meet her yet. And she said, you drop everything, and you go outside, and you say hello to Miss Ball. So I did what she said, and Lucille Ball was very, very gracious, and she was very forgiving. And in fact, the next time that I worked with Lucille Ball was on another Bob Hope show, and she needed a stand-in to take a pie in the face. And uh, she picked me. <laughs> and you know, I wonder now whether or not she did that just to get even with me for keeping her waiting that day. <laughs> but again, I have to say that Lucille Ball was just a wonderful, wonderful lady. She was one of the sweetest, kindest, most compassionate people I think I've met. Um, with me being a relative newcomer to this business, every time that I worked with her, she made sure that I was feeling comfortable, that I was having a good time, and that I was happy. And uh, I just loved working with her every time that I did. And I think that I speak for a lot of people my age uh, in saying that I love Lucy. Tonight we have two of my favorite people, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. You know, it's amazing how their I Love Lucy show has remained at the top of the ratings all these years without giving away any money. Of course, Lucy does some pretty wacky things, but then married to Desi, what can you expect? You know, I knew Lucy long before Desi did. In fact, I've often wondered what would happen if she'd married me instead of Desi. What would it be like if I were the husband and I love Lucy? Let's see, huh? I know one thing, she wouldn't be doing those crazy things if I were her husband. talk to you now. Ricky will be home any minute, and I have a seal in the closet. Lucy, what are you up to? Well, I had a chance to get in the show business, and I took it. I'm an assistant in Captain Blystone's trained seal act. I'll tell you all about it when you come home from the beach next week. We are back. I'm down at the corner delicatessen. We'll be home in five minutes. Oh, but you can't come home. Captain Blystone is sleeping in your bed. 
Captain Blystone? What's a perfect stranger doing in our bed? Well, he isn't exactly perfect. He's got a broken leg. He slipped on a flounder I threw the seal. Yeah, listen, I gotta hang up now. Now, just a minute, just a minute, Lucy. You've got a seal in the closet, and Captain Blystone is in our bed. Where are Fred and I gonna sleep? Don't bother me with your problems. I got troubles of my own. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to tell Fred? Don't tell him anything. Just come on up here, and I'll think of something. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, baby, mother's coming. <laughs> you. <laughs> Ricky, baby! Oh, oh, honey, I'm so glad you're home. I missed you terribly today, darling. Mm, the house was so lonesome without you, sweetheart. <laughs> you're the most wonderful husband in the whole world. Mm. Did you miss me today, Ricky? See. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lucy. What have you done? Who, oh, me? Yeah. The last time you kissed me like that, you wrecked the car. The uh, insurance company canceled all my insurance on everything, and you did my laundry in the wearing mixer. <laughs> what are you talking about? I give you a kiss every day. I know, but this is October. You just kissed me all the way through Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> That's the way it is with you hot-blooded Latins. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You're too suspicious. Now, I haven't done a thing. <laughs> oh, close the door. I'm fumigating. We've got termites. Yeah, one of them must pitch for Cleveland. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Uh, what are these Texas anchovies doing? <laughs> and I joined the Herring of the Month Club. Oh, that's good thinking. On a dull night, we can get marinated together. <laughs> oh, you kidding. I gotta get some sleep. I got a very important audition tomorrow morning. An audition? Yes, I'm, I'm sort of auditioning for the Havana Symphony Orchestra. Oh, honey, how wonderful. Is it a big orchestra? 100 pieces, 99 bongos and a sweet potato. <laughs> oh, honey, I'll wonderful. see you. Let me help you. Oh, Fred was going to carry one of them, but he didn't want to throw me off balance. <laughs> well, honey, where is Fred? He tipped the cab driver 10 cents by mistake, and he's trying to talk him out of it. <laughs> Fred, I'm in here. Coming. Hi. Well, Fred. I didn't recognize you. How you've changed. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the fresh air. You know, makes you feel like a new man. Well, you look like a new man. Took off a little weight, put on a little hair. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's my Freddy. He's my poopsie whoopsie. <laughs> hey, you're right. He has changed. <laughs> All right, break it up. Let's not overdo it. <laughs> Come on, Ethel, let's go upstairs. Oh, up to, uh, uh, no, 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 wait, don't go. No. Don't go. Stay, stick around and I'll make some coffee. Yeah, make some coffee. I'll make some coffee. We'll stay and have a cup of coffee, honey, huh? And while you're here, don't you think you ought to give Rick, Ricky back his golf clubs and his tennis racket? After all, he was nice enough to loan them to you. Big deal. I couldn't play. He didn't leave me any balls. <laughs> Oh, that's very gay. <laughs> you just returning from a wetback luau? <laughs> They'll never let him in. Hey, hi, Ethel. Hi. 
They're fumigating the closet, you know. Yeah, what is that with Don't the Don't worry fish? about a thing. <laughs> Say, how come you, you came back so soon? I thought you were going to spend another week at the beach. Well, we were, but the grunion stopped running, so we didn't have anything to eat. Oh, no, the grunion is not stopped running. I was just tired of finding a pelican for my breakfast every day. <laughs> you did what? I was just tired of finding a pelican for my breakfast every day. They didn't stop running. <laughs> You're trying to tell me something. <laughs> Come on, Ethel, let's get out of here before I lose my entire temper. And lose that accent, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Fred, wait, wait, uh, shut up. Lucy, yeah. Lucy, come yeah. on. Oh, don't go. No. Uh, look, while we're all here, why don't we play charades? Yeah, charades? 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 Lucy, yeah. I I'm getting in the bed. All right, you get in the bed and we'll try to guess what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, I've got to get some sleep, honey. I've got an audition tomorrow, and you invite your friends in the middle of the night to play games. What do you think I am? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Ah, ah, the beast from Hollow Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I feel sorry for me, too. <laughs> Come on, Ethel, let's go upstairs. Oh, no, you can't go upstairs. Why not? Oh, why not? Oh, uh, uh Lucy? Uh... Lucy, what have you done now? Well, I was only trying to surprise him with a little anniversary present. Oh, <laughs> yeah. an anniversary yeah, present. present? What I mean, is it? I had your apartment fumigated. Fumigated? Yeah, and it has to stay closed up until all the termites are gone. Well, that's my wife. <laughs> well, it could be worse. She could be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, no, now relax, Fred. There might be a man upstairs. Oh, don't be silly. If there was a man up there, I'd go up. <laughs> well, you can fight it out. I've got to get some sleep. I'm well, now, 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 look, uh, Ethel and I are sleeping in there. This is the boys' room. Come on, Ethel, dear. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Ethel. Wait a minute, honey. Uh -huh. Don't you want to sleep here with your husband? Well, uh... No, she doesn't. <laughs> How do you like that? I marry Lucy and wind up with Desi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta do something about those sinuses. <laughs> a pair of pajamas, sport? Yeah, in the closet. Gracias. Gracias to you, too. <laughs> Should I never let us see us? Are you asleep? No, I'm awake. Your eyes are closed. No, they're open. I just got the lids over them. <laughs> Keeps my eyeballs from getting dusty. <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, Ethel said she couldn't fall asleep without a little bite. Well, if you think I'm gonna get up and bite her, you're crazy. play that thing. Well, I have taken a few lessons, yes. Who from, a seal? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I took lessons from a seal. Yeah? Well, yeah. Now, let's hear you play it. Oh, you don't, you don't want to hear me play it tonight. Oh, so go on. Give us a tour. Oh, no, I haven't got my music or anything. Go ahead, thank you. No, no. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't want to hear me play, do you, Ethel? Uh-huh. <laughs> What came out of that closet? What was that? Well, I forgot to introduce you. That's my music teacher. <laughs> Tonight's show is sponsored in part by Sure. With Sure, you can be confident of protection because Sure's double action formula fights both wetness and odor. Raise your hand if you're sure. Raise your hand. You got it. Raise your hand. You know it. You feel confident. You got it. That sure, secure, confident feeling. Because Sure's double action formula fights wetness while it kills bacteria that cause odor. Be sure of both odor and wetness protection. Get sure. Confident, confident, and secure. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you're sure. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you're sure. Here's a great haircut. Oh, yeah. Picture my interview. Their stark white offices, my new dress, a new cut. Well, picture this. There you are in their stark white offices with your stark white flakes. Dandruff? Itty bitty fashion no no. And I shampoo every day. Yeah, but with a regular shampoo. Try this. Head and shoulders. I use it. Yeah, but you don't have dandruff. Bingo! <laughs> Head and shoulders. Because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. It's your son's wedding day. Wake him up his favorite way. Wake up with Mountain Grown Folgers. Mountain Grown beans have a richer aroma. My name's Dan. You know, everyone says today's the happiest day of your life. But it's not. The happiest day is when your son gets married. The best allergies start first. Right now, my eyes are itching, and my nose is plugged and stuffed, and there's pain along my sinuses here. Tylenol has something just for you. New Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Relieves allergy symptoms and the sinus problems they can cause. Outstanding. The uh, itchy eyes went away. The uh, pressure in the face is released. New Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Allergy relief that goes clear to your sinuses. Live from New York, Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, Billy Crystal, Jane Curtin, Tom Hanks, Buck Henry, Lorraine Newman, Steve Martin, Garrett Morris, Eddie Murphy, Bill Murray, Prince, Martin Short, Paul Simon and more on Saturday Night Live's 15th anniversary special, Sunday. Here is the one, the only, Mr. George Burns. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for that standing ovation. <laughs> if I can stand, you can stand. <laughs> what can I say about Lucy that hasn't been said? She was a great actress, a great comedian. She made you laugh, she made you cry. She could sing, she could dance. She was a director, a producer, a writer. She was all of shoulders is wrapped up in this charming lady. I used to see her at parties once in a while. We were friends, but not close friends. I never danced with Lucy. I danced with her husband. <laughs> Once. He danced too close. <laughs> Look, I was married to a great comedian and an actress, too, Gracie. But Gracie, Gracie and Lucy were entirely different. Lucy was in show business 24 hours a day. Gracie, the minute she left the theater, that was it. 
But there was something fragile about Gracie, dainty. He couldn't touch Gracie. Before we'd go on the stage, I used to see which way the wind was blowing so the smoke of my cigar wouldn't go into Gracie's face. If I blew smoke into Lucy's face, she'd blow it right back into my face. <laughs> I once did um, a guest shot with Lucy. We, we did Burns and Allen. She played Gracie. She played it great. Well, she was great. And at the finish, we sang a little song together called Lazy by Berlin. A wonderful song, wonderful. Let me sing one chorus. So l listen to these words, the beautiful words. Bob and B flat. Lazy. I want to be lazy. I want to just lay in the sun with no work to be done. Under that awning, they call the sky. Stretching and yawning, and let the world go drifting by. I want to peep in the deep tangled wildwood, counting sheep while I sleep like a child would. And with a great big valise full of books to read while it's peaceful, while I'm killing time being lazy. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Work. Irving, Irving Berlin wrote the, the words and, and the music. He's over 100 years old. When I'm 100 years old, I'm gonna, I'm booked to play the Palladium Theater in London for two weeks. <laughs> if I don't like my dressing room, I won't show up. <laughs> well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. When you get to be 93, you don't need to finish. Here are a couple of scenes that we did from a picture, Facts of Life. Boy, isn't this great. I haven't felt this good since I was a kid. Funny, I, I never think of you as a kid. Where'd you grow up, back east? No, native, Los Angeles, Selma Street School, Fairmont High. After that, I... You're kidding. Why am I kidding? I went to Fairmont High. Well, how about that? <laughs> Remember Miss Hammersmith? Agatha Leonora Hammersmith, old Walter Walchin. Ha, ha, ha. That's the one. What a loser. She was my homeroom teacher. Mine, too. Isn't that amazing? What, that I went to high school? No, that we both had the same homeroom teacher. Oh, I don't know. In these days of hydrogen bombs and guided missiles, you'd be surprised how seldom you walk up to a person and say, pardon me, but who was your homeroom teacher? <laughs> it's so amazing that we never knew. Oh, I'd probably get out a little before you. Oh, a long time. Well, I didn't exactly graduate in the same class with Francis X. Bushman. How old are you? Five years younger than you. How old are you? Let's forget it. Gee, those were the days. Those Friday afternoon football games. Remember the fight song? Remember it? I wrote it. You wrote it? The words, that is. F stands for far famed Fairmount. A for her aim so high. I for her independence. R for her real rough life. Go Fairmount! M for her many heroes. O for her old glad heart. And cause her name's great. T cause her team's great. Go, 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 Fairmount! It does her name right, she does her team's right. Go, 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 Fairmount High. <laughs> you really wrote that. Well, let's not lose our heads. It's not exactly my fair lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I used to love those games. I remember in my senior year, I made cheerleader. <laughs> All you do is you, you, you... Hey, Carlos, what does she do? She's got the weight, senor. Wait for what? Well, the Marlin will hit the bait. They already hit the bait. Then the bait will sink. Now, don't be nervous. It's just like any other fish. Now, now pull. Pull back hard. I can't hold it. No, I can't. I can't, Larry. I'll lose it. Help me. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, Larry, look! How are we going to get that from the can? Save your strength. This could take a long time. How long? Can't tell. Could be two or three hours. Three hours for one fish? I delivered a whole baby in an hour and a half. Yeah, but he wasn't skidding across the water on his tail. Please. Keep your eye on the fish. Hold it, Larry. Hold him. It's a monster. An absolute monster. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I am. 
about Doc and Connie. Yeah. I guess we better. Four, five, six, seven. Three more. One, two, three. That's it. with it. Thanks. <laughs> ah, yes. Hey, Jim. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> much point in pretending it hasn't happened, is there? What are we going to do? We're going to forget about it. Yeah, but tomorrow... Tomorrow, let's forget about it. Tomorrow might be too late. Yeah, I guess so. Thompson, the cleaning man. Is he looking? He's looking. Oh, great. I never thought the second feature would be us. Still looking? Still looking. How can we get out of here? Hmm? Think of something. No, it's too late to change cleaners. Can you reach the ignition? Ignition. No stuff on the starter. If this wasn't so horrible, it'd be kind of enjoyable. Throw it in reverse.
If there's one thing a man values more than his own health, it's the health of his family. <laughs> okay. Kellogg's Raisin Bran is a health food made just for families. Hello? Oh, no, I'm back at the hotel. It's your daddy on the Fiber for health, but with two scoops of juicy raisins so that even kids love it. How you doing? Are you coming home soon? The American family is alive and well. Sue, what's up? Just thought we'd have breakfast together. <laughs> and eating Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Today, discover antiperspirant protection that glides on. It's crystal clear, arid glide on. Not a crumbly stick, not a drippy roll on. It's clear, arid glide on. And now, new arid double X glide on helps keep you extra, extra dry. With all the things your eyes have to do every day, it's good to know the GE Soft Light is a warm, glowing light that's sensitive to the needs of the human eye. GE is light. We bring good things to life. Stay tuned for Betty White and more memories of Bob Hope's love affair with Lucy. Monday. Reality check. What year is this again? 25 years later, the boyfriend who broke up the Buffons wants them together again. I am not a 17-year-old Buffon anymore. The Hogan family, Sandy Duncan, L.A. Law's Jill Eikenberry, and Judith Light from Who's the Boss star with Mary Wells, Gary Buckin, and other stars from the 60s. It's the world premiere of My Boyfriend's Back, Monday. Update. The latest from News 4 New York. We have these developments coming up at 11. A New York City cop is saved by his bulletproof vest. Investigators have trouble pulling that U.S. air jet out of the East River. And we're going to talk about the pilot of Flight 5050 with one of his friends. Dozens of looters arrested in the hurricane-ravaged Carolinas. New Yorkers raised money to help rebuild Puerto Rico. And the hard facts about tonight's cold snap. We hope you'll join us at 11. who is yearning to share her deepest emotions, her innermost thoughts, her jello pudding snack. You know, I admire a woman who has no need for artificial flavors. A woman who knows the only thing better than a snack with 70% skim milk is sharing it with someone you love. Pardon me. Jello pudding snacks. Try our delicious new tapioca. Between love and madness lies obsession. Calvin Klein's obsession. Ah, the feel of it. Now, your gift with any $35 obsession purchase at Macy's. Every milestone deserves a new look at your insurance and financial needs with your MetLife representative. Get Met. It pays. Jim Florio wrote the law to protect our drinking water from cancer-causing toxic waste. As governor, he'll appoint an environmental prosecutor to enforce it. Florio, a proven record. Baby boomers turning 40 on the next USA Today. Here is one of the golden girls we love so much, Betty White. Back in the early days of television, all situation comedies seemed to have three-word titles. Our Miss Brooks, I Mary Joan, Life with Elizabeth, Father Knows Best, and there was I Love Lucy. And that wasn't just a show title. That was a permanent state of mind for the entire world. I remember the first time I saw Lucy, and it's still just as crystal clear in my mind. I had just started my second series, uh, A Date with the Angels, it wasn't a big hit. Obviously, there were too many words in the title. But we shot it over at the new Desilu studio lot. And somebody said, would you like to meet Lucy? And I was taken over to be introduced. And she had just finished doing her show, and they took me back to her dressing room, which in those days was more like a phone booth. And there she was. I can still see her, tall and built. And she had a navy blue dress on with white polka dots and this hair that made it look like her head was on fire. <laughs> and it, there was none of this condescending big star to the newcomer. It was, hi, Betty, how's your show going? Lucille Ball knew that I had a show. Well, even at that early stage of the game, I was indebted to this lady. Because we were shooting Date with the Angels with the three-camera system 
that Lucy invented. Up to that time, comedies were shot like a movie with one camera, no studio audience, and you would do each scene in a master shot, and then you'd move in for two shots and over the shoulders and close-ups, all the while beating the same poor tired joke to death. And then you'd put that together and you'd hire a hall somewhere and invite an audience and show it to them to get the laugh track. Well, while we were shooting it, we would leave holes where we thought the laughs were. And life's darkest moment was always when you would leave a hole and nothing would happen. There would be no laugh. And then other times, something would tickle the audience that we never suspected. And they would laugh like crazy and laugh right through the next two jokes. Well, Lucy was smart enough to know this is no way to do comedy. So she got the bright idea of using three cameras, all of them rolling at the same time, which covered everything, and doing it in front of a live audience. And the people there could tell them where the laughs were and where they weren't. And then they would take the best shots from each of those cameras and they'd have a real show. So it was, it was something that proved that underneath all that flaming red hair, there was, there was a lot to this lady. And she's been helping all of us get laughs ever since with that wonderful technique of multiple camera. Our two number one fans, Lucy's mom, Dee Dee, and my mom, Tess, became great and good friends, as did Lucy and I. And whenever I asked Lucy for a favor, the answer was yes, before I even got the words out of my mouth. And I'd call her at home, and I'd hear hello, and I'd say, Gary, this is Betty, is Lucy there? And I'd hear, this is Lucy, you dummy. Gary's voice is higher. <laughs> I fell for it every single time. The last time I saw Lucy was about a week or at the most two, no, about a week before she went into the hospital. And she was at the peak of her form. We double dated at the opening of a mutual friends at a club in Hollywood. And we were seated at this, four of us, four big people at this little table that was almost big enough for one. Well, Gary got on a roll and her husband had always been able to break Lucy up, but that night he was funnier than he's ever been about these four big people around this little bitty table, and he was doing name jokes and everything, and just cracking Lucy up. And I can still hear that deep, bellow, hoarse laugh. It was a lovely. And you know what tickles me the most? I'm so privileged these days to be a part of the Golden Girls. And guess where we shoot it? Yep, the studio's been renamed, but every day, I go to work at the old Desilu lot. Thanks, Lucy. This is from a picture of Fancy Pants that we did together, where I played an English butler and she played the daughter of the rich woman I worked for. I should have given your muscles more warning. You're supposed to boost me up. Boost! Boost! Oh, there you are. Should we take a can of Mum? 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 Oh, now, what are you doing down there? I'm having tea with a groundhog. What do you think? I'm sorry, Mum. I, I was just... Uh, shall we then? Not that again. Get down on your hands and knees. Yes, Mom. We'll do it the blunt way. Hmm? Are you aboard, Mom? Yes. Yeah. 
Now give me your arm. Not that one, the other one. Now jump up. Up. Let me up, Mom. Here we go, Mom. Wouldn't it be much simpler to call a cab, Mom? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold it, Mom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not bad. Aggie, let's face it, I can't go out there riding in any fox hunt. Playing in her was easy, but all I ever hunted was a job. But you gotta ride. The town's dependent on you. Yeah, let's say you convince me. Who's gonna convince the horse? Look, I'll teach you to stick in the saddle if we have to work here all night. No, Aggie, I've tried, but I'm just a living room girl. You'll have to get another boy for that rough stuff. I ain't asking you to try to ride for Big Squaw, for Pa, for Ma. But just for me. Me? I mean you? First time I saw you, I said to myself, Here's a dirty, low-down, lily-livered coyote. Then, as I got to know you better, I figured you for a filthy, sneaking rat. I grow on people like that. But then again, you remind me of a little old chipmunk I had when I was a kid. Only thing I ever loved. Same look in the eyes you got. I'll never forget how he looked at me just before he went west. California? Dead. Todd Belknap shot him. Did you tell Cart Belknap that we didn't mean a thing to each other? Not yet, but I was fixing to. Well, don't, because I don't like my women to be lying. You mean you aren't running out on us? Let me back on that barrel. Nothing's going to stop me, maybe not even a horse. Would you give me a little help here, oh. please? Leg up. Yeah, leg up. A little lower, please. Just a little lower. Chin up. That'll have to hold you till I catch the box. Martha Jane. Short. Look, Dreamy Joe. He came to see you. This is from a Damon Runyon picture, Sorrowful Jones. Keep away. He kept asking for you. I think you could leave the rest to me. What's the matter, Starful? You can't let shorts fall in the hands of some strange couple. They might be undesirable characters. It would still be an improvement for her. Look, you want to get married, don't you? You've hinted at it often enough. Yes, one of these days. But to a solid citizen, and I don't see any around. Who cares about solid citizens? I'm thinking about shorts. If we don't act fast, she's going to be farmed out from under us. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I'm willing to make a sacrifice. Why can't you? If some couple has to adopt her, how about us? I think that's a very good idea. The first one of us who gets married should definitely adopt her. I mean to each other. Mrs. Sorrowful Jones. Mrs. Sorrowful Jones. Don't you have a real first name? Hmm? Humphrey. Mrs. Sorrowful Jones. Oh, I'm glad we're going home. My feet are killing me. Oh, short, you can't do it all in one day. We've been to the zoo. We climbed to the top of the Statue of Liberty. We were on the lake in Central Park. Look at these blisters from rowing. See? But you promised, Daddy. Well, Daddy. Okay. What a way to spend a honeymoon. 
Enjoy extra sugar-free gum. Come on. You get extra refreshing flavor that keeps coming through. Extra sugar-free gum lasts an extra, extra long time for you. Sugar-free extra is unsurpassed in fighting cavities. That's right, unsurpassed in fighting cavities. And extra has NutraSweet. Extra refreshing flavor that keeps coming through. Extra sugar-free gum lasts an extra, extra, extra long time for you. Extra helps fight cavities and lasts extra long. It has arrived. Good morning, Mr. Graves. This is the all-new four-door Cutlass Supreme. Your mission is to show the world that is causing an automotive revolution. Its sleek look and response and performance make it a superpower among world-class cars. This is not your father's automobile. The allergies start first. Right now, my eyes are itching, and my nose is plugged and stuffed, and there's pain along my sinuses here. Tylenol has something just for you. New Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Relieves allergy symptoms and the sinus problems they can cause. Outstanding. The uh, itchy eyes went away. The uh, pressure in the face is released. New Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Allergy relief that goes clear to your sinuses. Glad to be in America, back in the good old USA. I've been missing my baby, the sweet green earth, and a pure simple meal made America's way. A lean quarter pounder hot off the grill with crispy golden fries. America's meat and potatoes. I'm home. That's McDonald's. <laughs> He's a mutist camp con man who ran off with half a million dollars. This guy took us all. Plus, they're the toughest cases. Help the FBI crack them on an all-new Unsolved Mysteries Wednesday. The boy with it all. Now? Now he wants his stepfather dead. I'm caught in the middle. Framing his mother. They think it was you. Leaving Ben stumped. There's no physical evidence. Matlock. Ben. A serial killer's on the loose. You're next, Jack. And Killian's on his greatest hits list. Any thoughts on the matter, Jack? A two-hour midnight caller movie immediately following Matlock Tuesday. Miss Lucille Ball. That it's fun to be funny. Just a barrel of laughs night and day. In a world that's eternally sunny. With a life that's no work and all play. Just because we can make it look easy. Doesn't mean it's a carousel ride. So we cackle and crow and go on with the show. Although we are dying inside. Comedy is a serious business. Comedy is an art. Comedy is a matter of miming and timing and playing a part. When you're frantically trying to please, sweating bullets and down on your knees, and you see your career disappearing in smoke, comedy ain't no joke. <laughs> Here is Lucy doing Sophie Tuck. Some of these days will miss me honey. Some of these days you feel so lonely. You'll miss my hugging. You'll miss my kissing. When you go away, I feel so lonely for you, dear, only. But you know, honey, you've had your way. And when you leave me, you know it's going to grieve me. But 
you're gonna miss your big fat mama, mama, some of these days. Lucy, nothing beats those great memories. They're loaded with a lot of fun and a lot of laughs. They sure are. We used to sing. We used to dance. In Facts of Life. No, Fancy Pants. Ah, yes, I remember it well. You never strayed. You never checked. I sent you flowers. They came collect. Ah, yes, I remember it well. Those lovers' games we played. Poker every night. And you never pay. That's right. That's right. It warms my heart to know that you remember still the way you do. Ah, yes. I remember it well. I got the laughs. I got a few. You blew your lines. And so did you. Ah, yes, I remember it well. The critics raved. When I appeared. I took a bow. Your family cheered. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember it well. The way we rock and roll. Singing teeth or two. Am I growing old? Oh, no, <laughs> not you. How strong you were, how young and gay. I don't remember that. A prince of men in every way. Ah, yes, I remember it well. Introducing Baker's Own, the new cake-like cookie that's so delicious, some bakers may pretend it's their own. Harold! Perfection takes time! Real fruit filling inside, delectable powdered sugar outside. Apple, blueberry, raspberry, best batch I ever baked. Mm. New Baker's Own, bakery fresh taste in every bite. Nabisco! <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Almond Joy's got nuts, mouths don't Because Sometimes you feel like it Sometimes you Now Total Raisin Bran is no longer the most nutritious It's new Kellogg's Nutrigrain Raisin Bran With more vitamins and minerals, the one with the most nutrition is Nutrigrain The Raiders The Broncos Sunday. Get set for the funniest Hollywood adventure ever. I'd like the NBC map, please. When Paul Reiser busts in on Betty White, Bob Hope, Loris Leachman, Greg Evigan, Sherman Hemsley, John Ashton and Richard Tyson, Robert Loggia, Sandy Duncan, and more. For details on how you can receive Paul Reiser's Hollywood adventure, see your favorite Scotch video cassette retailer. This is our last appearance together at the Academy Award Show. How about that? How about it? Yes, thanks for the memories. Who ever thought that this little girl from Celeron, New York, could grow into a talent that would dazzle the world? She combined with a new medium of television to make I Love Lucy a real show of affection. 
not just the title of a situation comedy. Lucy was laughter. It was her life, her livelihood, and her legacy. She was a unique performer who had the beauty of a showgirl and the heart of a clown. Her genius was such that one never got on the way of the other. Lucy played the entire keyboard of comedy. She was indeed special. Her comedy was and still is universally enjoyed. Whether her nose caught fire or whether she was stomping grapes, Lucy got us all to laugh. Thanks, Lucille, for making life a ball. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday, kickoff week number three of the NFL season with Bob Costas and O.J. Simpson. Hi, this is Bob Costas. And O.J. Simpson. We'll take you around the league and inside the action. So join us. We're the team to watch on NFL Live tomorrow, only on NBC. And Sunday night, live from New York, it's the primetime event of the year. Saturday Night Live's 15th anniversary special, an all-star reunion, plus live musical performances by Prince and Paul Simon. Sunday.